So today I'm gonna show you what's inside one of these um, speaker. Uh, I don't know. It looks like a bomb or something, but uh, this is like a speaker bomb. It was a really cheap one I bought a few years ago. But yeah, it's got uh, the cable right here, and then it's got the charging cable. But this is a specific uh, Nokia type uh, charging cable, the very small pin one. But yeah, that broke, so it doesn't work anymore. So I'm gonna take it apart. Let's see what's inside of. Uh, this. All right, that's one screw. Second one. Yeah, this one I believe I was like uh, two dollars or two euros. Very, very cheap. Oh, I bought it so many years ago. But nowadays, every uh, speaker type, uh, one of these uses a micro USB. So you don't have to worry about when the one breaks, you can still use your phone uh, USB cable or something. Oh, looks like it's quite a lot in there, actually. Let's see if I can wiggle the speaker loose. Seeds put in there with some hot glue. So that's how they stuck it to the case. Now I can also just desolder the wires. Let me take my handy dandy uh, Parkside soldering iron. <laughs> It's really really nice for doing things like this. It's wireless. You can charge it. I bought this on the uh, from the Lidl. Uh, you can um, buy it for yeah, like it was like fifteen dollars, uh, twelve dollars. Very cheap. But all you need to do is just uh, wait a little, and then this heats up, and then I can desolder this part. It also has an LED, so that's really nice. Let's desolder this. I don't know how I want it yet. Oh, there we go. Oh yeah, it, it also heats up really, really quickly. So you can desolder things really, really easily with this. Without it taking too much time. And then you can just put it back into the dock. It has like a connector here where you can charge it with. And you can just charge it with a uh, micro USB cable in here. Uh, there was also a previous one of these that used a uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, the circular connector that has like a pin on it. Just like this one but then bigger. So, so that one with the pin in the middle. Like a laptop kind of charger pin, which is this one just uses a uh, standard connector, so you can just use a power bank like this to charge it with. So that's really really nice about this. So here we got this. I'll still stuck with a uh, screw right there. But yeah, I, I saw that in the paper, in the advertisement paper. I was like, yes, I want to buy one of the soldering irons. Because I used to use a um, regular one that you plug into the outlet. But that takes so long to heat up. And when it's warm, it takes so long to cool down. And then the, the wire was too, just too short. So I had to use an extension lead and it was just meh. So I, I am so happy that they sold this and that they even make something like this. It's just, yeah, it's uh, an amazing piece of kit if you uh, have to desolder things a lot. And it's just so small and light and the battery is pretty good. I haven't uh, drained the battery yet on it. So, yeah, it goes, uh, the battery life is a really long time. Here's some date on it. Some data. 4 volts. And then here, 1.5 amps. And a lot of other things. And here is 5 volt input. 
so you can just use it with the regular charger so this is really really nice so yeah back to the speaker i need to find something i can take that apart let's see what's this oh i found something let's see there's soldering i'm not soldering with hot glue blobs right in there planning to reuse the speaker for something else but the uh, mind board not because this still looks like a really nice speaker if i can get it out yeah that's a pretty neat small speaker it's like a mini subwoofer so yeah i can still use that There we got a small battery that hasn't leaked yet. And the other things is like a cable and then this LED light. So this is like a small amplifier. I don't know how powerful this is. I don't see any. Oh yeah, there's a capacitor right there. If it wants to focus, that's a capacitor right there. I recognize that. So yeah, this is a really small capacitor. Usually it has one of those, uh, uh, not a ceramic capacitor, but a uh, electrolytic capacitor. But this is just a ceramic capacitor, I believe. It looks like a ceramic capacitor. I don't know my technology that much. And there's a couple of resistors right there. And there's the... Uh, this is actually pretty nice. I can still unsolder that. And if a phone is... Uh, like old Nokia phone, it's a broken port, I can solder this one to it. So it used the exact port as the Nokia phone stuff. So yeah. There's a random chip right there. That's pretty much it, it's just one single layer. And the battery of course. How much milliamp hours does it got? Hopefully it's not gonna explode on me. Just an un unmarked battery. I think it's unmarked battery. Got no info on this side and no info on this side. So this is like a mystery battery. But it's like the size it's pretty decent. Uh, I guess this one uh, 120 milliamp hours. It's like that same size. So yeah, that's uh, and it's not it hasn't leaked yet, so I can still reuse this battery for small projects. If it's still working actually i need to buy a new multimeter to test if the battery is actually good because my old multimeter broke some reason i got a cable right here i can still reuse parts of this so that's pretty much what's inside the uh, one of those mini speakers it's the one battery a simple circuit switch a uh, a charging port and a diffuser this is a diffuser for the led this LED is not actually here, it's an onboard LED. It wants to focus. Yeah, the LED is like under there, and this is a diffuse that diffuse the LED light outwards. Hmm. So that's pretty much it. Okay, see you in the next video.